If you want to search on Google like a ninja to improve your chances of finding what you're looking for, coming up, we'll show you 40 search tricks for use on Google most people don't know about. And we're starting right now. We'll go through each of these quickly in five different categories. We'll begin with the basic search tips that often get overlooked with the tips and tricks for advanced users near the end of this video. You've all heard the phrase, less is more. When doing your initial search, keep the number of words to a minimum, avoiding any unnecessary words. Three or less keywords is a good rule to follow. For example, if you want a tutorial on how to write code for the Python computer programming language, just use the keywords, Python, programming, and tutorial. From here, add additional keywords if necessary. To narrow down the search results, click on Tools. You have two choices. You can filter when the content was published. Anytime is the default. You can select from the past hour up to the past year or select a custom range. And for all results, selecting verbatim will only list results that include all search terms with the exact spelling. When you're doing an image search, the Tools tab can be quite handy as well. You can filter by size, color, type, time, and usage rights. The usage rights filter is beneficial for those of you looking for images with Creative Commons licenses to use in your projects. You'll notice to the right of each URL in the results, there's a drop down arrow. Cached is useful for those times when a site goes down and you want to view a snapshot of that page the last time Google's web crawler was on that site. And sometimes you'll see the similar option for example, selecting similar next to the Wayfair homepage URL will list results for sites like Wayfair. To help protect your children from explicit content or to protect yourself while at the office from not safe for work search results, go to settings in the lower right and select search settings. Here at the top, click on the box to turn on safe search. While Google admits it isn't 100% accurate, it's better than nothing at all. By now, I'm sure most of you know how to do a voice search on your mobile device. Google Voice Search is also supported in the Chrome desktop browser. To activate it, click the microphone icon in the search box. Here's an example, Hotel California Lyrics. From here on out, I'll use the voice search when possible or when it makes sense. Let's now take a look at some of the more useful search terms and types of searches. To get the definition of a word, add define before the word. Define anomaly. Here's the definition of anomaly, something that deviates from what is standard, normal, or expected. To get the origin of a word, add etymology before the word. Etymology anomaly. If you're learning the English language, using the word pronounce followed by the word you want to learn will give you the pronunciation. Pronounce schedule. Then click on the speaker. Schedule. Up here to the right, you can choose from the American and British pronunciation. Schedule. To translate a word to another language, following the word, add in and the name of the language. Here's an example. Apple in Arabic. In Arabic, you would say Tufahatan. To get the current weather at your location, just type or say weather. To get the weather for another location, use the word weather followed by that location. Weather, Las Vegas. It's 66 degrees and clear in Las Vegas. To find out the date of an upcoming holiday, search the name of the holiday. Mother's Day. Mother's Day in United States will be on Sunday, May 9, 2021. For a specific year, the name of the holiday followed by the year. Father's Day, 2022. Father's Day in United States will be on Sunday, June 19th, 2022. This next one's cool if you've ever had trouble finding the customer service phone number for a company. Search for the name of the company followed by the words customer service. Dell customer service. The customer service number for Dell is plus 1-800-624-9897. To find out the current stock price, use the name of the company followed by the words stock price. We'll use the parent company of Google, which is Alphabet. 
Alphabet stock price. Alphabet Inc. Class A closed up 0.79% on Friday at $1,567.70. If you happen to know the stock ticker symbol, you can just use that. AAPL. Apple closed down 1.4% on Friday at $119.02. Getting nutritional information about your favorite foods is fast and easy. You could do a general search like this one, blueberries. According to Wikipedia, blueberries are perennial flowering plants with blue or purple berries. Over here in the right pane, scroll down and look for the nutritional facts. Blueberries appear to be a great source for dietary fiber and vitamin C. You can also search specific items at your favorite restaurants. McDonald's Big Mac. According to Wikipedia, the Big Mac is a hamburger sold by international fast food restaurant chain McDonald's. Let's go to the nutritional facts and look at the nutritional information. Spinning this in a positive light, if you're looking to gain weight, it appears the Big Mac is an excellent source for saturated fat. You can easily search information about your favorite TV shows and movies. Here's a few examples. Breaking Bad characters. The characters in Breaking Bad include Walter White, Jesse Pinkman, Gus Fring, and others. Top Gun Maverick budget. The budget for Top Gun Maverick was $152 million. No Time to Die cast. The cast of No Time to Die includes Daniel Craig, Rami Malek, and six others. You can also get information about your favorite celebrities as well. Here's examples for you. Tom Cruise height. Tom Cruise is 5 feet 7 inches tall. Clint Eastwood age. 90 years old. Tom Brady's wife. The wife of Tom Brady is Giselle Bunchen. Listen up kids. When you grow up, this is what money and fame can get you. Honestly, do you think they'd be married if Tom were bagging groceries at the Piggly Wiggly? Probably not. Let's move on. To do a search by location, at the end of your search, put the name of the city or zip code. Tacos, 89104. Listings for tacos around Las Vegas, here they are. Doing a reverse image search is lesser known, but might come in handy to find out if you're not getting credit for your original images on other sites. On the Google search homepage, click on images in the upper right. In the search box, select the camera icon. You can upload an image on your computer or paste the image URL. To get the URL for the image from a website, right click the image and select copy image address. Go back, paste it into the box and click search by image. You can choose from small, medium, large or all sizes. While Amazon gets a ton of attention and free advertising from the bloviating media, you might find better options elsewhere, sometimes with better prices. Enter your search of what you're looking for. In this case, I'll go with internal SSD. Now here at the top, click the shopping tab. To narrow down your selection, there are filters along the left. This next category will take a look at calculations and conversions. If you need help with math, Google search can help you to solve an equation quickly. 5 times 18 divided by 2 minus 16. The answer is 29. There's also this handy calculator if you need to do more math. Other calculators you can search for include a tip calculator, and they even have a mortgage calculator that is helpful when you're planning to buy a home or refinance your mortgage. The unit converter is extremely useful when comparing data. Here's an example, 8 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit. 8 degrees Celsius is 46.4 degrees Fahrenheit. You can also use it to convert other types of data as well. Here's how to easily convert currency comparing the first unit value with the second. 100 US dollars to Ethiopian burr. 100 dollars equals 3,710 Ethiopian burrs. In addition to countries, Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin can also be converted. For the next half dozen, we'll call this category time and travel. To set a timer, search set timer four, followed by the amount of time. Set timer for three seconds. <coughs> to 
To find the time the sun will rise or set, search sunrise or sunset, followed by the city name. Sunrise, San Diego. In San Diego today, the sun will rise at 6.56 a.m. Sunset, San Diego. In San Diego today, sunset is at 6.10 p.m. To get the current time in another city, search time in and the name of the city. Time in Denver. The time in Denver, Colorado is 7.32 a.m. To check the difference in time from your location to another city, insert the name of the city followed by the word to and the name of the other city followed by the word time. New Orleans to New Delhi time. New Delhi, Delhi, India is 10 hours and 30 minutes ahead of New Orleans, Louisiana. If you're planning a trip to find the cost of flights from the various airlines, use the same search as the previous example without the word time on the end. New Orleans to New Delhi. Flights from New Orleans to New Delhi leaving the 26th of October and coming back the 8th of November start at $880. To check the status of a flight, enter the flight number. Delta 910. Delta 910 from Los Angeles to New Orleans is scheduled and departs in 9 hours and 34 minutes. Also when planning a trip to easily find local attractions, search the name of the city or country. Sydney. Here is some information about Sydney. Sydney, capital of New South Wales and one of Australia's largest cities, is best known for its harbourfront Sydney Opera House with a distinctive sail-like design. In the card here on the right, under Plan a Trip, click the Associated Travel Guide. Here you can find the things you can do while visiting that location. Using search operators are great when trying to narrow down your search. Here's some of our favorites. To only see the results from a specific website, type site, colon, and the name of the site with no space. To find certain information from that site, add a space to the end of the query, followed by your search term. Earlier in this video, I showed you how to find similar websites. Here's another way. Type related, colon, and again with no space, the name of the site. To get search results with a specific file type listed, type file type, colon, without a space, any known extension, in this case we'll go with PDF, add a space and your search term. You'll now see results linking directly to the file type you entered. Here's the search operator I use most often. This one excludes words and sites from the results. In the search box, enter your search term. Add a space, a minus, and the word you want omitted. To omit a specific site after you enter in your search term, after the minus, use any word in the name of the site. When you only want search results from a specific country, first enter in your search query. I'll go with lasagna recipes. Add a space, site colon, and the TLD, which stands for Top Level Domain for that country. Examples of TLDs include .us for the United States, .uk for the United Kingdom, and .in for India. For this search, I'm using .it for Italy. To find an exact match for a sentence on a web page or music lyrics, put your search term inside of quotation marks. Using the search operator OR capitalized lets you perform two searches in one. Here's another example. On this one, we'll go with Tom Hardy or Cruise. If your memory ever lets you down and can't remember a word, the asterisk is a useful wildcard that can help you in your search. To find web pages with your keywords in the title, type in title, colon, no space, and your search term. This also works with the URLs of web pages. Just replace in title with in URL. Another option instead of remembering the search operators is to do an advanced search. In the lower right, select settings and advanced search. This can also be quite useful to narrow down the results. 
I personally keep this page bookmarked for those times you need to do a complex search. Thanks for watching. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What search tips and tricks do you use that might be beneficial for others? Let us know about them in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on our newest tips and tricks videos and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Combo.